Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel's Mike's Talks and Thoughts here back again with another The Last of Us review and today we have episode 3 long long time here this episode of course following in my weekly review here for The Last of Us I have absolutely been loving this show and this review is going to contain spoilers here for episode one, two, and three, talking about episode three here. So if you've not seen The Last of Us through episode three here, definitely come back to this video once you have. But yeah, we're just gonna give thoughts on this episode, talk it through and what can be coming and expecting moving forward here. So in this episode here, uh, we see Joel and Ellie, of course, still on their uh, run here or trying to get Ellie here to the Fireflies as we see the aftermath of episode two tessa's demise here and then trying to move forward here and joel kind of giving ellie even more insight into the start of the outbreak which they've kind of done in every episode so far showing it from like a different perspective first it was this perspective of uh, joel's daughter and her kind of experience and joel and tommy's experience the first day of the outbreak in the second episode they talk about uh, when it happened in Indonesia, the start of the outbreak there. And then in this episode, we get to see it from Bill's perspective. Bill, here played by the amazing, legendary actor, Nick Offerman, one of my favorite actors of all time. He absolutely just killed this role, man. I absolutely love seeing like his perspective on this from the start. How, you know, in this community, they're, they're taking a whole bunch of people and he's over here, you know, just uh, staying in hiding. He has this whole place to himself and he gets it all gated out and uh, protected against uh, the infected here, which was really great to see. And him finally building this relationship with this guy named Frank. Uh, so, and uh, showing uh, their first interaction and how they kind of become this thing in this broken world. And it was really beautiful to see, man. I just, I loved, I loved how they split up like in different chunks like three to four year chunks of, uh, you know, first they show uh, Bill at the start, they show him, I think he's three or four years by, just by himself, and then he meets Frank here, and Frank ends up coming in, and they end up uh, building this bond between the two of them, and, you know, eventually leading to where we are now in 2023, showing uh, how far they've come, and just them being together, and it was just so beautiful to watch. I, I just loved seeing it. I think a lot of people are going to complain that this episode didn't have, you know, a lot of Joel and Ellie. And it doesn't really advance their story too much until the very end. You know, like I said, they talk at the beginning of the episode. But then uh, it really comes into play once uh, we see basically Bill's entire life with Frank uh, in the apocalypse here. in just these little different chunks showing them growing and bonding and caring for each other and seeing all these emotions and when Bill finally you know ends up going out with Frank here and leaving uh, all his supplies to Joel and we get to see now how Joel is going to try and reunite with his brother Tommy who had connections with the Fireflies which they're trying to get Ellie to to uh, further this advancement here so uh, that is definitely something that happened, of course, at the end of the episode, furthering the story along and making you more intrigued. But I just, I just loved it, man. I loved seeing Nick Offerman uh, in this role, and I loved seeing uh, Bill and Frank's relationship here. I, I just thought it was so touching and so real, man. They really jam-packed it with so much in the hour and 20 minutes that this episode was, you know. Um, there was, like, never any point where I was, like bored or I was like so engaged I just wanted to know what happened and seeing just this different perspective I really loved this take on it and it was just such a touching episode man it was hit just so much in the feels man like I said you just meet these characters and so much happens and uh, like I said even though Joel and Ellie don't really get too much advancement until later on I love this episode focusing on Bill and growing his character just for that one episode I would love to see Nick Offerman more, but they did such a good justice to the character of doing this uh, in this way here. Again, I've never seen or played the video games here. I know a little bit of baseline, so 
Not sure how they kind of did it in the video games, but the way I did it in the TV show here for episode three was absolutely great. And I really can't wait to see what the next episode holds. Maybe they're going to run into another group. Uh, maybe it's just more on the run here. Will they finally get the Tommy by the end of the season? We'll have to see here. They finally got that car. And then it's crazy to me too how self-sufficient uh, Bill was, you know, over the course of the 20 years of the apocalypse, which he was in, he pretty much had everything he needed, man. He had like different stores on like this one street. He had, um, you know, fencing to keep people out. He was able to be uh, self-sufficient with guns, water, uh, electricity, uh, gas, so much that he was able to build upon and be the survivalist that he is portrayed out to be. And seeing his first interaction with Joel and Tess here, and he knows him still having his guard up for everyone when you know Frank is so open minded and so uh, open to this trading. And uh, Bill, you know, is just like so close minded, even when he first meets Frank. Uh, you know, they think that they're just gonna have this one night interaction, and it turns into 20 years worth of uh, them being together. So, really great episode here for me. This episode's going to get a 9.5 out of 10. I love this episode, man. I know a lot of people are going to be critical of different points in this episode. Um, but for me, I really liked it. I love showing Bill here. And just me now thinking about that character is going to mean so much. Like, this is his episode. This is the episode that they definitely dedicated to him. And giving all that time to build this 20-year story in just an hour and 20 minutes was really beautiful and wonderful to see. And The Last of Us is continuing to be one of the best shows on TV. And it's going down right now as one of the greatest shows of all time. I mean, just three episodes in, we're already into a season two renewal. And so many great things are happening. I'm on the edge of my seat every time. Every episode has just been amazing to me. And I can't wait to see where the story goes from here. The Last of Us is just absolutely killing it. It's turning into one of my favorite shows of all time. And can't wait to see you guys here next week when I review episode number four for The Last of Us. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it here. Take care and peace out.